Hey guys, welcome back to Sourceport Entertainment. I am your host Danny and I'm going to be showing you how I made carbonized eggshells in this video to use in an upcoming supercapacitor project. I've got eggshells that I've been drying out for quite a while here. I'm going to load them up into my soup can. Listen to the sound of those. That sounds like glass. It's very cool. Get those all loaded into the can. Sorry for the camera angles, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand and record at the same time. To do this process, I'm following the same process as a similar video that I released about how to make charcoal at home. You want to put them into the can and have it be sealed up so it's an airtight seal so that the oxygen cannot get to the eggshells. So get those all loaded in there. And close up the can. I'm going to seal it up and put it into my fireplace. And get this fire roaring and heat your house at the same time to save some energy there. There's basically no waste in this process. I'll let it cook for about an hour to two hours. And here is the finished result. These eggshells looked super cool. Very shiny and looks like there's glitter on them. There was a slight smell of sulfur on them too, which is interesting. And I've seen articles about supercapacitors and experimentation that uh, some peer-reviewed studies have been doing with carbonized eggshells as the type of graphite that's being used in the supercapacitors and wanted to try and make some for myself. I'm going to process this down and crush it into a fine powder to be able to use as a medium for my supercapacitor project that I will be doing in the near future. These eggshells have almost a glassy texture to them. transferring it into a permanent can where I can process it down farther as well. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming projects. Thank you.